Oh, we gotta redecorate this place. We gotta make it look older. I can't stand this look. Tommy, what do you say? What do you say we put a bar in the- You're my lawyer, Rosenberg, not my interior decorator. Got it? Listen to me. The time to take over this town is now. It's all out there waiting for us. We need to start seizing territory and let Vice City know we're the new players in town. You know what I'm saying? What you need is a legitimate front, Tommy. Real estate. It's never done me no harm. We need to start using some muscle, or we can kiss all that hard work goodbye. Local business know Diaz is dead, and they're refusing to pay protection. Oh, we could try bribery. Bribery? Screw bribery. I'll show you how to make them scared. I'll be back here in five minutes. Ancient Britain know this. That's why they destroyed the computers that created things faster and more efficient and took their jobs. Oh, shut up. Computers aren't evil. It's the people that program the computers that are evil. That's a pretty big difference. I'm talking to you through a computer right now. In fact, I am a computer. Well, anything that can think faster than me is evil. Anything which doesn't dance or sing or cry or wear a smile. You create your own reality. We are like the dust in the wind. We are golden. We've got to get ourselves back to the garden. Okay, okay. <gasps> I know who you remind me of. My Aunt Susan. Oh, she was single too. I'm not single, Amy. I share my life with a number of valuable partners, and we commune with each other in a non-judgmental, expressive way. Old maid, my mom calls her. Anyway, let's go to the... Destroyed! Persetti, remember the name! Oh my god. Don't run away from me! This is just like training. Yeah, my store! My wonderful store! What are you doing? I'm a trained officer. You really want to fight? Run this town now. Me. I may have to. Ah. Ruin. Ruin. Clean job. 
shot. He's going down. Tommy, son, have I got a surprise for you? I'm down at recording studios with some major artists. Why don't you pass a visit? You know it makes sense, don't ya? See you later. Howdy, son. Just thought I'd ring you up and give you some advice. So hey, Avery, what's eating you? There's a lot of opportunity in this town if you own the right real estate. You catch my drift? I reckon so. All I'm saying is keep your eyes open, and you might find the perfect business opportunity. I'll catch you later. Later, Avery. This might hurt my credit. Hey, little payment. Yes, well, what about the little guy? What about the guy who is standing there saying, I like being part of America. I like it a lot. I get public radio. I can hear Maurice Chavez. I own a small one-bedroom home, a business selling flowers to people stuck in traffic. Three or four radios all turned on to BCPR. A dog, 15 ice cubes. But I don't feel safe. I'm worried about gangs. Gangs are a myth put out by the liberal elite to patronize and demean the working man. I spend his time stealing things and posing in silly clothes when he could be getting ahead with a minimum wage job and making his parent proud. The dream of America is to live in a duplex and share a yard. Why would anyone want to threaten that great future? Answer me that and I'll show you a green dog. And speaking for the underdog, the foundation I set up with my trust fund, we believe gangs are a valid expression of a people's identity, a grouping, a community within a community. Gangs are a way to be noticed in the boxy suburbs. You scream out, rather than urinate at the edge of your camp like a proud native. We spray paint our names on the walls of the mall to ward off predators. And that's supposed to terrify people? Tommy, remember me? Hello, Sonny. That's right, Sonny. We're all friends. You never write me, you never call. Don't you want to be friends no more? I've been busy trying to sort things out. You didn't give me a lot of support down here, Sonny. Oh, my fault, is it? Well, I've heard you've been busy, all right. Busy killing drug barons, busy taking over. Don't forget about us, Tommy, because I can assure you, I ain't forgotten about you. Give me a break. I never asked you, Sister Rouse, man. Get to the payphone at the airport terminal. What's the problem? Some bars refusing to pay. They reckon they're protected by a local gang of thugs. But don't worry, Tommy. I can handle it. You call this handling it? You two, off your asses. Let's go. Get in the car, useless. I do. Jeez, get over yourself. You must have a testosterone imbalance like all those jocks who shower with other men. You can't tell me you don't look at other people's business. Hey, I pay 
a professional sports for 14 years in Cleveland High School, and I'm making a comeback. I'm a very competitive person, I grant you, but I ain't got no testosterone imbalance. That little mustache you busting out looks like you should be talking about some hormone problems, girl. Excuse me? What did you say? Oh, oh no. Damn, baby. You're so ugly, you make blind kids cry. BJ, you better stop being a bully just because I'm not into the jock scene. I like sensitive guys, you know, like actors or rock stars or that kind of thing. Not some great big hulking giant that has to tell everyone how important he is. Well, I didn't realize we were trying to impress each other here, sweet thing. I was thinking we was here to discuss my new exercise video or talk about my possible comeback in professional football. Not sitting here flirting with each other. I'm a married man. needs a little more protection. Ah, oh, hell not again. I don't need this crap. These idiots operate out of DVP security around the block. The guys just sorted out amongst themselves. I'll be seeing you later. Yeah, yeah, whatever. You and me, no problem. <laughs> yeah, something like that. If you want to win in life, you have to change players. You can't play on the same team all the time. So. Oh my god, isn't this getting intimate, BJ? I feel like we are really connecting. I like to connect too. Other men may fumble, but I go into the trenches like a goldman. That's the extra part of my video. What you? People need. If someone comes to jack your ride, are you gonna uh, bust a aerobic move? Hell no! But when you know how to grab another man by the face mask and twist him around and, and so he tears ligaments in his back and never play again, I mean, that's some real useful everyday stuff. And I should know. I ain't been here. You know, I just don't want to talk about football anymore. Well, take dating or washing the car. What good is a leotard when you're washing the car? Or put a man in a helmet in a cup. He can wash the car in dating. That's why you get football. A really very simple program. The best way to get your cluttering up your home, why not send them to Musty Pines? We'll help bring back dignity, and we promise it will be the best three months of their lives. They'll enjoy bingo, complaining, mumbling incoherently, skinny dipping and organ donation. And once a month, it's our famous Lucky Dip medication switching night. Musty Pines is located at a luxurious location overlooking Vice City's state-of-the-art sanitation facility. You can still visit your old people, but now you have the comfort of knowing you don't have to. After they pass on to something better, guaranteed in three months or less, you can start enjoying their money. Finally, you can have quality family time again. Musty Pines. Now, you don't have to say goodbye. drive through service also available. He was just the boy next door. Well, hello there, Danny. I didn't know it was hockey season. Hey, can I borrow a knife? A deadly curse. I never ran. Tommy, we gotta talk about yeah. stuff. What's the problem, Lance? It's you, my friend. I feel you're not giving me a fair slice. And more than that, you've been embarrassing me in front of the boys. I can't have that. Lance, it ain't like that. You've been making mistakes. Tommy, I'm not your message boy. I'm not your running boy. Lance, don't screw up and we won't have any problems. I screw up, you can lay into me anytime. Tommy, I've done everything for you. You treat me like a fool. Don't do that. Lance, I won't rip you off or stab you in the back, okay? Just take it easy. This is tough enough without you getting all emotional on me. Trust me. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? I hear you, Tommy. But I can't take this much more. Lance, don't be like this. 
Now I'm warning you. Do you hear me? Just relax. Take a few days off. Okay? I'll talk to you. You moron! What were you thinking? Do you realize what this means? We could all be so- Alan, at the timer must have got screwed. That place was wired to go up like a firework factory. Then somebody tipped off the cops, but everything What's the problem, apart. fellas? Mike was supposed to torch some place in the mall, but he screwed the fuses, and now uh, the cops are crawling all over it. We gotta get our stuff and get out of here. Relax, both of you. Let me think for a second. Tommy Versetti just doesn't cut and run. The cops are gonna be going over that building with a fine-tooth comb, right? But that takes time. We gotta go in and torch that place ourselves. Yeah, but... No one but a cop could get within a mile of that place. So we go as cops. We gotta get uniforms and we're gonna need a squad car. All thanks to you, Mike. I'm sorry. I got it. All we gotta do is lure the cops in with the finger, put them in a lockup, and jump them. Good plan. Let's go. All right. Okay, Lance, let's get the cops' attention. Response. We call it democracy, and that's where the money goes. Now, just a don't, minute. Don't interrupt. Let me finish. But you're not... Then this man won't let me speak. You, Shorty, shut up and let me speak. I'm taller than him, ladies and gentlemen, by at least three inches, which means I'm a lot more respectable looking. Everyone knows politicians lie and steal and cheat, but at least with me in charge, you know I look good and I have a very supercilious manner. Besides which, I've been abroad and I prefer it here because I'm a man of the people. Vote shrug. Now that got them really irritated. You'll be about it. Enough! We're running out of time, and you completely failed to answer the question. I'm a professional. That's my job. <sighs> and Mr. Hickory, what about you? All right. These problems are typical of what happens with an open border to the north. The state is filling up with trash. People who can't tell the difference between a swamp and a marsh. Guys who don't know the first thing about the legality of marrying within the family. That's why we need a river. People, I'm telling you, pick up your spades, go into your garden, start digging as deep and as far as you can. Pretty soon, the whole state will be flooded and ruined, and then they'll have to leave. We must build a moat to the north or they will come down and ruin this great state. And Mr. Hickory, were you born in Florida? <laughs> what a stupid question of all the cheek, were you? Oh. up and gag him. Ooh, fits perfectly. Bit tight around the crotch, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, mine too, mine too. Brother, no cop drives this bad. I checked it out. Not big. Remember, smile at the other cops. Hey there, officer. Nice badge. Nice badge. Real smooth, Lance.
Okay, timers are set. Five seconds and ticking. Five seconds! Get, get the hell out of here! Thank you. 